Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll do so and register for notifications for future videos that I upload. Thanks for joining me today, and my lesson is on simple interest. Today, our objective is to use the simple interest formula to find interest earned or paid, annual interest rates, and amounts paid on loans. So the question I want you thinking about today is how can you use the simple interest formula to find any missing value? And that's our, our target goal, is to not just solve for interest, but to understand how the formula works and solve for any missing component. So let's review some vocabulary before we begin. First is understanding interest. Interest can mean two different things. It can be the amount of money earned on a bank account or the amount of money paid on a loan. So you can put money into the bank and the bank will pay you interest, or you can borrow money from the bank and the bank will charge you interest. So you could either earn it or pay it. Simple interest is the amount of money paid or charged once over a period of time on principal. Simple interest isn't the most common type of interest. Compound interest is, but you won't learn that until Algebra 1. So we're going to talk about simple interest today. And that is interest being given to you one time over a period of time. Principal is the amount of money that you've deposited into your bank account amount of money you have in your bank account, or the amount of money that you have borrowed for the loan. My students have the most difficult time with this word, understanding principal. So principal is what's in your savings account or checking account, or how much you borrow from the bank. Now we have an interest rate. This is the percentage of money a bank will pay you on your money that you've deposited, or they will charge you for the money that you have borrowed. So this interest rate is what we're going to be using to calculate how much money we're earning or paying. So here's our simple interest formula, and we're going to talk about all the pieces. So the first thing we have is interest, that money earned or paid. That's our I. And that is equal to the amount of principal, that's the money that we've either saved or borrowed, multiplied by the rate this annual interest rate. And remember, when we use a percent in a formula or an equation, we're going to write it as a decimal. So that's key that you've been given that percentage of rate and we're going to convert it to a decimal in the formula. And then the fourth component that we have to our simple interest formula is time. And we always put time into our formula in years. So for example, if we said that it's for six months, then we would put one half in there because six months is half of a year. All right, let's go over an example. We're going to find the interest earned when we have deposited $600 into a savings account. The account is going to earn 4% simple interest every year, and we want to know how much interest will we have earned after five years. So here we go. What we want to know is the interest. So we have these four pieces of information, and the interest is what we're solving for. That's very important to note. The principal is our money saved or borrowed, and they told us that we've deposited 600, that's our principal. So we're gonna put that into our equation. The second piece of information that we need is our rate. We see right here that that's 4%, and 4% written as a decimal is 0 0.04. And then the final, the fourth component is our time. And they're telling us that our time is five years, so we're gonna multiply by five. So now you just need that handy dandy calculator, 600, multiplied by 0 0.04, multiplied by 5, and hit the equal sign, and you get 120. And what does this answer mean? This answer means that after five years, you will have earned in interest $120. So the next key thing is now you're going to have to be really careful with these problems and what someone's asking you for. So I've given you the same problem here, the only thing is I've changed it and said, instead of what interest have you earned, I'm asking you what your balance is going to be on your account after five years, which is very different. So remember, we earned $120. That's how we already calculated that. Your balance is equal to your principal plus your interest. So remember, you started with $600 in your account. 
you didn't touch it, you didn't take any money out, and you didn't put any money in for five whole years, and over that period of time, you earned $120. So at the end of five years, the bank gave you $120, but you still had your principal. So to find the balance, we're going to take our principal, which is $600, and we're going to add our interest earned, and now we have a balance of $720. So at the beginning of five years, you had $600, you earned $120 interest, and after five years, you now have $720. Okay, it's your turn. I would like you to try this problem. Go ahead and hit pause and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we're going to identify our components. We want to know how much interest. So I is what we're looking for. Our principal is $1,200. That's what we deposited into our account. Our interest rate is 5% written as a decimal 0 0.05. And our period of time is four years. 1200 multiplied by 0 0.05 multiplied by four gives us 240. So we know that after four years, we're gonna earn $240 of interest. Now you're being asked, what is the balance of your account after four years? So remember our balance is our principal plus our interest, giving us a final total of $1,440. Now let's talk about using this formula to find something else. We're going to now look to find the rate so we know that we've deposited $900 into a savings account and we earned $135 in interest over five years. And we now wanna know what was the rate that the bank gave us. So we're gonna replace interest with $135. Our principal was 900, we don't know the rate and we know that our time was five years. So we're gonna multiply first 900 times five and then we're gonna divide both sides by 4,500 to solve for R. Calculator time, 135 divided by 4,500 is 0.03. One more step, we're solving for the rate. The rate needs to be answered as a percent. So we know that the bank was using an annual interest rate of 3%. Your turn. Go ahead and use this information to calculate the annual interest rate. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So we know that the interest earned was $17.50. Our principal P was $350. We didn't know the rate and our time was two and a half years. So first thing you're gonna do is multiply 350 by 2.5 which gives you 875. And then to solve for R, we're gonna divide both sides by 875. Calculator time, 1750 divided by 875, and we solve and we get that R is 0 0.02, and we know that we need to write that as an interest rate, 2%. So the annual interest rate on this account was 2%. All right, let's try one where we don't know the time. So we deposit $3,000 in the savings account. It earns simple interest of 5.6%, and we want to know how long it's going to take us to have $336 in simple interest. I'm going to ask you to pause and try this one on your own. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we know that our interest earned was $336. We deposited 3,000, that's our principal. Our interest rate written as a decimal, remember we're gonna move this decimal point two spaces to the left, 0 0.056, and our unknown value is time. Multiply and we get 168, 3,000 times 0 0.056 is 168. Divide both sides by 168 to solve for T, and 336 divided by 168 is two. So we know that it took two years in this simple interest savings account to earn the $336 of simple interest. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on using the simple interest formula and that you'll subscribe to my channel and come back and view other videos. Have a great day.